Your husband is not your friend. He's your owner. No, no, no. You did not hear me. You are owned by your husband. 3 verse number 6. Even as Sarah obeyed Abraham, calling him Lord. The word Lord means master owner. You don't want to be owned, don't get married. You are not an equal to your husband. No, you are not even a friend or a partner. No, you are owned. This is why I say to you men, don't accept when, you're, when, you're, when your wife calls you baby. No, never. Pastor, no! No, no, no! No, 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 no! I do not agree to this, no! Listen, ladies, you are not anyone's properties. Wives, you are no one's properties. Your husband is not your honor. I know I'm the son of nobody, but by the grace of God, there are certain things I know that even the sons of somebody do not know. Ladies, do not let any man tell you that they own you because nobody owns anybody. No. What is going on with the churches in Africa? Is it the gospel you're supposed to be preaching? What is going on? Then the 21st century, in 2024, a man comes on the altar of God telling ladies, telling married women that their husband is their honor. What is going on? Let's put a stop to this. This ain't right. Just because Sarah called her husband, Lord, Lord doesn't mean master. Lord doesn't mean ownership. Lord is a sign of respect. Yeah. If you call your husband Lord, that means you are respecting your husband. Just like you call your husband my king. Does that mean you are the servant to your husband? No, let's stop this man of God. Stop preaching these motivational speakers. Ladies, don't all listen to this. But I'm not surprised. Because yet, there are ladies, there are women in that church who will be saying, right on pastor, give it to us. Yes, daddy, preach on. When you marry your husband, you are your husband's helpmate. You are equal. Don't let anybody tell you now you are equal. Because without the neck, the head cannot survive. You are equal. He is your friend. In fact, he is your best friend. And, ah, why should people be misleading people this way? Why? Wake up Africans. We are no slaves anymore. We are not slaves to anybody. If we are not slaves anymore, why should we be slaves in our marital homes? Why? Why? This ain't right. The Bible says, if a man finds a wife, he finds a good thing. The Bible never say, if a man finds a wife, he has found a perfect slave. That's not what the Bible say. The Bible didn't say, if a man finds a wife, he has found his property. The Bible didn't say, if a man finds a wife, the wife should be the slave to the man. No, the Bible never say that. No one is anyone's slave. No one is your property. If your wife is your property, then what makes the children? Property, property? Even your children are your properties. For the fact that you were able to bring kids to this world, you brought those kids for you to take care of them. Yes, no kid is your property. No wife is your property. They are not. They are free moral beings. They can choose what they want. Slaves cannot choose what they want to do. Servants do not have says. But your wife has a say. For the fact that she's making the house beautiful doesn't mean that she is your slave. She will never be your slave. She is not your property. So men, listen to this and be the one and for all that no woman is your property. Your wife should be your best friend. If your wife calls you Lord, if your wife calls you King, they call you because they love you and they want to add more respect to you, not because you own them.